um, probably just seen the album reviews of Obscure, Obscure by Clouds. If you haven't seen that one yet, check that one out after this. Um, and also I've done one, um, The Dark Side of the Moon um, album review as well, if you haven't seen that. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about, this will be Pink Floyd's ninth studio album, Wish Wish You Were Here. Um, it's a progressive rock, art rock, and experimental rock album, which was released on September 12th of 1975. Um, so um, I think it was this one that I seen um, on TV, what was it, um, that they used to have on um, Beach One, what was it, uh, classic albums where they talk about the songs on the album and all that. So I guess uh, this album here, Wish You Were Here, pretty much, uh, I think it was about um, Sid Barrett, I think, I believe, um, they were talking about him. Um, and I guess um, when they were recording this album, um, so it would have been 1974, around that time when they were starting to record it, 74, sometime 74, late 74, uh, early 70, sometime in 75, um, that he, I guess, showed up at the, uh, at the recording, you know, sessions, that's what I, you know, they said, and, um, yeah, it was just, you know, after not seeing him, I guess, since, what was it, 68 or 69 or sometime after that, I guess, um, but, yeah, um, but it was, you know, crazy, they never, they said never seen him for a long time, I guess he looked different or something, um, but, yeah, it was, you know, um, but it was interesting, so if you want to check that out, it's, um, what is it, um, I'm trying to think of each one, Classic albums, um, Pink Floyd. So if you type that, in, it should come up. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. Um, they said, you know. Um, but um, so yeah, so today we're going to be talking about their ninth studio album, Wish You Were Here. It was a progressive rock, art rock, experimental rock album, like I said, released on September 12th of 1975. Um, so I found this album here, I found this album here, um, compared to one, I, I done an album, this album here I found had only five songs on it, that's it, five, five songs, um, I did, you know, an album review of, um, their, it would be their, um, be their sixth, I done the other day or two days ago, um, that only had six, six songs, and the album was like 41 minutes or something like that, um, now this album here is about, you know, over 40 minutes, um, this only has five songs, uh, but, I'll say, you know, there's, man, a lot of, you know, great, great songs, pop, you know, popular, popular songs of theirs, um, great album, really great album, um, for sure, definitely, if you haven't heard it before, you definitely need to check it out, it's, it's just amazing, amazing album, um, so the songs on the album includes the 13 minute and 32 second song, Shine On You Crazy Diamonds, parts 1 and 5, so the whole song there, 13 minute, and that whole 13 minute and 32 second song there, Shine On You Crazy Diamonds, um, which, you know, it goes into different parts, right? Within that 13 minute and 32 second song, this is parts one and part five. So all through the whole song, it goes into different parts. Um, but um, that there is... Um, Great, great song. Um, very, very popular. Um, a lot of songs off this, I'm saying, you know, off this, um, off this album, right? Um, very, very, the whole album. You know, you probably, you probably hear it on like um, rock stations, like um, what is it, uh, Q104 or something. When they, every now and then, when they decide to 
play something half decent, you know, like some classic rock song or whatever, right? Um, but now they don't, right? So every now and then you might hear something like Pink Floyd or something like that. But I find now, you, when I listen to it, you, you hardly listen to that, right? Hear anything like that. So that's why I don't listen to that anymore because it's rare that you would hear something good like that on there. Um, anyways, um, but yeah, so that's the first part, um, which starts off with, you know, I said the 13 minute and 32 second song, Shine On You Crazy Diamonds, which is part one, parts one and five. Um, back to this, a seven minute and 28 second song, Welcome to the Machine. Um, and then after that is, um, Have a, have a Cigar, which I think said on this album um, that Roy Harper sang lead vocals on for Have a Cigar. Um, all that time, I seriously, all that time hearing that song, I didn't know that lead vocals, he sang lead vocals on that, but all that time, I'm thinking, oh geez, I didn't know that, right? Um, at all, really. Um, I thought, you know, it was uh, David Gilmore, right? Um, that saying, you know. Um, so I find you kind of, you know, sounding a little similar to say, you know, I found. Um, and after that was, um, Wish, Wish You Were Here, um, which I believe, I think that song they said when I watched the, the, um, that, that, uh, one that I said about uh, classic albums, um, Pink Floyd's I uh, Wish You Were Here. I think that was about, about um, Sid Barrett. Um, that song, I think they wrote that about him, pretty much about him. Um, but yeah, it was, you know, crazy. You know, they seen him, right? And when he came into the recording and um, where they recorded and he showed up, they didn't know who he was. He looks so different, and, um, yeah, and, um, I guess I'd never seen him for years, I mean, it was, like, 60, the last one who was with them, I think, was 68, maybe, or that, 68, 69, maybe, around that time, late 60s, um, and that was it, so he didn't really play with, you know, many albums with them that he, you know, left, um, and that was around the time, like I said before, um, that David Gilmore joined the band around, you know, 60, late 67, 68, or whatever, with them. And Sid Bear was still in the band at that time. Uh, but yeah, crazy. Um, but now, you know, great, great song, Wish You Were Here. Um, and then after that is that. Six, the 12 minute and 28 second song, Shine On You Crazy Diamonds, or it's uh, parts six and nine, that's the last song, um, which kind of, I find that, I think it was that one, or the other one kind of goes, it starts off, like when it starts off, might be the first song, or that first one, or the last one, I can't remember, it's one of them that it goes into this very, very long, long instrumental, you know, part, right? And then all of a sudden, then he starts to sing, and it's about maybe half, a little more than half, maybe, or whatever. Um, but all in all, amazing album. Only five songs on the album, that's so crazy. Um, but, but, um, Great album. I would say this is another very, very, very popular album of uh, Pink Floyd, um, for sure. This one and um, Dark, The Dark Side of the Moon, those two um, were very, very popular albums of um, Pink Floyd. Um, so really great, great albums. Um, but yeah, that's, you know... Amazing, amazing album. But yeah, I think that's what the song Wish You Were Here was pretty much about, they said. Um, pretty much about, I guess it was, you know, about um, Sid Barrett, I guess. Um, about him. Um, 
Oh, yeah, I watched that. That was quite interesting, the um, classic album from um, Pink Floyd. Uh, talking about pretty much when it... This is pretty much talk about when they started and stuff like that in all their albums. Anyways, uh, make sure to check out um, Pink Floyd, Adam, Hurt Mother uh, review, album review, uh, Pink Floyd, Mingo album review, Pink Floyd, Obscured by Clouds album review, and Pink Floyd, The Dark Side of the Moon album review. Um, so make sure to check those ones out. Um, I'll go through the songs again, then I'm going to uh, finish it off. So it starts off with the 13 minute and 32 second song, Shine On You Crazy Diamonds Parts 1 and 5. The 7 minute and 28 second song, Welcome to the Machine, which Welcome to the Machine, I think I heard that the other day. Um, I heard that song the other day. Great, great song. After this, Have a, have a Cigar. Um, wish you were here. And it's, um, it's 12 minute and 28 second song. Shine on, you crazy diamonds, hurts. Six and nine. So, hope you really enjoyed this album. You hit a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And um, next, I'm going to uh, talk about. It'll be their. 10th studio album, um, yeah, their 10th studio album, another album, kind of, I, I, I found it was similar to this, not many songs whatsoever, um, at all, so I'm going to be talking about that one, I think that might be the last one that I'm going to do, and I'm not quite sure exactly what band I'm going to go into, but I think of something, so, hope you really enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up, all you people that did subscribe, thank you very much, greatly appreciate it. Obviously, I'm doing something right. Um, make sure to check out Essential Classic Rock Vinyl Records, where I show my record collection. Um, and did album used by Kiss, Boston, Bob Seger, Led Zeppelin, Kansas, um, Cheryl Crow. Um, so many different artists, different genres of music. Not just rock and roll, but a lot of the album views that I've been doing are rock and roll. Um, so, hope you enjoyed it, and thank you so much. And, uh, bye.